What is going on guys? Me and Mason are finally in the garage. We got some parts and we're ready to start working on this truck and get some, some stuff knocked out on it finally. Um, we got the ARP head studs in. They are the, the ARP 425s. No, I'm just kidding. They're the they're 2000s. Um, they're the cheapest ones you can get, but they are, I mean, they're, they'll be plenty for um, what this truck needs. I got my work stand here on my trash can. It's working out pretty good. Got a piece of plywood here. But so to do this, I'm just gonna go ahead and get right to it. So it gives you a pattern. We're gonna do the one by one method. So you do not have to remove the cylinder head. It's gonna give you a pattern here. So starting with number one, you will take that head bolt out. I've already got it out. You go in this spot right here. You'll pull it out. You're gonna take a head stud, thread it all the way into the bottom, get it snug. And then you're going to uh, apply grease to the threads. Use their supplied washers and nuts. You know, make sure you get you know, their grease. All they really are really particular about that. You need to use their grease and get it all over the threads. And uh, we're going to torque them at 125 pounds. So you'll do it one at a time. You'll pull this one out, put one of these in, torque to 125 pounds, move to the next one. Six of these studs are longer, and they all go on the exhaust side here. All the longer ones go on the outside, so just make sure you don't forget that. Um, I don't really know why, because I'm almost positive these are the same height, but that's just how they are. So that's how we're going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started. I'll show you guys what Mason's doing over here. Doing a little welding on his downpipe. Got to weld that new flange on there. As well as look horrible. <laughs> With the hold. Got this new gasket here today. Got the new studs in there. Got the turbo ready to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and get to it, guys. So I'm gonna get started. I got my shop vac here. And I sacrificed my drink straw. And put some uh, masking tape around it to try to suck all the debris out of the holes or any oil or anything that might fall down in them uh, individually. So every, every time I pull a head bolt out, I'll stick this down in it, see if I can pull anything out. Okay, all the head studs are at 125 pounds. We're gonna go back through them in the same order and just check them all, make sure they're still at 125 pounds. Mason's getting the manifold put on. All right, Mason's gonna go ahead and throw the compressor cover on. I got the valve cover back on. I checked over the valves and they're all still within spec even after uh, putting those headsets in there. So we're gonna drive and get it hot and probably check them all again. Um, you do have to modify this valve cover a little bit. This front stud will hit the cover. So I took a carbide bit over here. Where's it at? 
I just took this carbide bit and just hogged it out a little bit. You can get these anywhere, get them at Harbor Freight. Works really good. He's got that cover on there. We're gonna see if we can get that elbow on it. And at you that point, we'll put the downpipe on it and it's ready to start. For some reason, Bailey decided uh, Mason's welds weren't good enough, so he just laid like a half inch wide bead all the way around this exhaust piping and felt the need to primer it too for whatever reason. Fab, what are you doing over here? Come on, explain. Bailey's our professional fabricator slash machinist. Bailey got that all welded up, grinded down, welded again. You literally can't even tell. That's why we call him Master Bader the Fabricator. Yeah. He thought of that before I started this clip. He didn't just think of it. He had it planned. It looks good, though. It really does. We're on the side of the state. We're on the side of a road in Mexico, trying to tune this truck. He's messing with his tuning. It won't. Uh, it won't spool the turbo at all. I mean, you can get about 30 pounds of boost out of it and acts like it's really going to go. And then it's like it just runs out. That's all it has. Stay tuned. Fun fact. This thing now has blow-by. It never had blow-by before until I uh, put bigger injectors in it and messed with the pump a little bit. But it now has a little bit of blow-by, so... If anyone does, I mean, it's not something that's concerning me, but I am going to start up and I'll show you guys. Uh, and I didn't put rings in the truck, so I don't know. I'm not really that worried about it, but it, I mean, it definitely wasn't there before. Still have to get a bed. But Mason got his, some body parts over here. Got a new hood. Got a nice bed. A couple small dents. Here and there. Brought him an exhaust over. Let me get that put on. And this is Skylar's truck. You guys have yet to see this. This is the truck that's going to be getting the uh, compound kit. The 300 over 400. I don't know the exact specs on it, but that's going to be pushed back even a little farther because he just went to the. Uh, to a turbo rebuilding slash injection pump shop it's pretty local to us and they determined that the bushings and the housings not the bushings and the housings what am i saying the the center section of the turbo the shaft the the bearings or whatever were so bad inside the eight through the bearings and, and eight part of the center section of the turbo but this is the truck that's going to be getting these eventually right now it's got a chinese HX35 on it. It's been on there for, if I had to guess, I'd say probably 10,000 miles. And it's still going. And he tows with it a lot. That's pretty much all this truck does is tow. No, I didn't even notice how the beds are red on this side. It's really clean though. It's a lot better than trying to mess with that one he's got. Underneath, really clean. Hood's really clean. I bet he's got a door back here. Yep, there's a new door. Get that switched out. He's just going to need a driver door. And that truck will be rust free.
I just took with the truck being pretty cold. I mean, I, whenever I started it this morning, I let it run for like an hour. And then I noticed that there was, I mean, the blow by was there. You could almost smell it in the cab. I have a 12 valve taffet cover on it and the hose is not there. It's just shooting right at the firewall and you could smell it in the cab. So that's why I checked it and noticed it. And it was, it was definitely puffing out more smoke once it warms up, but it's, you guys are probably going to say that's no big deal. That's perfectly normal. And I agree, but it definitely looked worse whenever it gets warmed up. So. Exactly. Are you going to do here? Um, Cause I told you guys Skyler's truck, whenever he took the turbos to get them rebuilt, they said that the centerpiece was bad and he needed to get a new one. So with that being said, I'm going to trade him center section. He's going to get one that'll fit my other exhaust housing. So then I'll be able to run the smaller exhaust housing. The one that he already it. bought over here. And let's just show him on the video. Go ahead and show him where this won't fit. So, we're the diameter of this, this piece. This right here yeah. is too big. So when I went to go put it on, it won't even go over the wheel. So, the and, and with the size of that exhaust housing, we drove the truck last night, it just, you, it won't spool. I mean, it probably would with nitrous, but he needs to get this smaller exhaust housing on, so he's going to get, he's going to have his brother order one, and then they're just going to switch them out. Yeah, I really hate to do that to you guys, not giving you a driving video, but it, you know, it, it gets like to 40 pounds of boost and that's just all the fuel it has and it's done. It, you can't light it, simply can't do it. Getting this gooseneck taken off, don't need that anymore. Well, after a little bit of fighting, we got the bed off. We couldn't get the rear bolts out. Uh, of the, the last two bolts out of the bed so I just chopped the top of the I mean the bed was trashed it wasn't worth trying to sell to somebody so we just destroyed it because it's going to go to scrap road anyway so we were able to just cut it and we could cut the tops off the uh, where the threaded part was made into the bed and beat the bolts out and got it all off here got it sitting outside with how long it took we're probably not going to put the bed on it tonight because he wants to work on some stuff underneath but we are going to go ahead and switch the hood really quick get that on there This is going to wrap up the end of the video. I uh, hope you guys like it. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe. The other outro got deleted, so that's why I'm all of a sudden in here. But thanks, guys.